All right, so let's head to the plant store to see what we can get for our last two planters that need something to grow in them this spring for cocoa. Okay, so today we're going to plant some plants. Um, I picked out a couple of plants from the plant store, which is this really cool store where you can go and look at all the plants they have, and they have all the supplies you need to plant a new plant. So I'm gonna show you what we need to plant a plant, and then we're gonna do it together. Okay, it's really sunny, so it might be hard to see, but you're gonna need some kind of container to plant your plants in, and you'll probably need some scissors to open up your bag of soil and sometimes you have to cut open the plant container that it comes in. Some gloves would be good to keep your hands clean. And then we have our plants. This one is romaine lettuce and this one is mint and cocoa, our class guinea pig, can eat both of those. And the last thing you need is some soil. This is potting soil. So we're going to plant these plants together. All right, so we need to put on our gloves first. Probably move your sleeves out of the way. Put on our gloves. And then get our container ready. And we need to cut open our bag of soil. And pour some into the bottom. You don't need too much soil in the bottom, just a little bit so that the plant isn't just sitting on the bottom of your container. And then to put your plant in there, I just take out this and I usually just flip this over and kind of squish the container. But these are a bunch of little plants. So you can just kind of gently pop them out like that and then place them in your soil. Also, you sometimes wanna squish the bottoms just a little bit so that the roots aren't so stuck together and they can spread out in their new container. some more dirt around this guy because he needs a little more support but the rest of them seem pretty good okay so that's our lettuce now let's do our mint Go ahead and pour in this whole bag. And mint grows really fast, so I just got one, but it will probably eventually take up this whole thing. So squish his roots a little, and we're just gonna place him right in this little hole we dug and fill in around him. And now we need to water. All right, we have our watering can. Now we can water our plant. So let's do it. Okay, and this tree over here is called a Japanese maple. 
it's behind this little chair that I have so we are going to water that as well I put a little turtle in there just for fun so we'll give him some water 